this book. We were like the pioneers of this um, this process called workshop. I think um, a lot of Broadway shows have been done um, um, where people are now getting a share of the profits, mm -hmm. the actors and the dancers and stuff. That's happening more because of this. Yeah, I, I was hoping that this would also inspire people to you know come to New York because we all uh, went through our um, you know family lives and our. Our, our dramas as kids and and we made it. We came to New York and we did Broadway and we did this phenomenal show. His opening day gifts. Spending money that I don't have. <laughs> I'm waiting till closing day in two, the year 2000. I'm closing one day. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. He's gonna, Where's Betty Fine? I don't know. Where is she, Walsh? And we cut out um, things out of Picasso uh, books for him. We sent him our inspiration, this and that, whatever. And he shows us this drawing. I don't know, two weeks later? I mean, how long has it been to get that dress? She wore the other dress two nights and then refused to wear it. It had a star on her vagina. It had a huge star on her vagina. It had a moon on her tip. And I just went, oh my god, they're killing me because they hate the horses. Can you imagine this woman walks out and she has a star on the center of her hand. So then she says, so I said, don't put the star on her vagina. And he says, I want to know how far you want to go, if you want to be camp or not. I said, this whole country thinks I've like lost my mind. I said, why, is he doing it for free? And she said, yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of price. So the essence of this story is... Is... You, you get what you pay for her. Isn't that the moral? Troy Donahue could be a movie star, then I could be a movie star. But think of all the things that we've lost, all the men and women that we've lost that were these pioneers, that were like twisting it and bending it and shaking it and whipping it, um, like Michael and Bob Fosse, um, um, Gower, um, so many people, um, Ron Field, all these creative geniuses 
were um, on the verge of doing something maybe as good as, or if uh, not better than a chorus line. I mean, there was like a line in, in a chorus line that one of the actors says something like, don't tell me Broadway's dying. Now, I don't think any of us gypsies said that at that tape session, but Michael or, or part, and someone in the creative team felt that because they had been there longer than us. So they did think that it was changing and, and um, you know, they didn't know that they were resurrecting it or whatever. They were just putting on a show.